As podcasting has absolutely exploded in recent years, and with 2020 being the year that a lot of podcast creators have shifted their recordings to remote or long-distance solutions, a lot of podcasters are looking around asking themselves, what is the best software to be able to record high-quality podcast audio that I can use in my episode without having to do something technical like set up a double-ender or use an external recording device? Well, that's where Squadcast comes into play. And so in this video, Alvin and I are gonna walk through the pros and the cons of using Squadcast to record your audio files and help you decide if it's a good solution for you. Squadcast is really focusing on one thing and that's giving you the highest quality audio possible. So the way they're doing this is everybody's audio is recorded locally to their computer as just their own voice. And it's recording it as lossless files, which are like the biggest files and also the highest quality. Yeah. So it, down in the bottom right corner, you can see this bar is moving left to right. You can see my audio on the top. You can see Albin's audio on the bottom. And so as we're talking, it's actually consistently uploading that audio file to Squadcast. At the end, it's going to finish rendering those audio files, and then I get to download them and use them in Hindenburg or GarageBand Audacity, whatever software that you're using. So it really is a great system, and the audio quality is top-notch. One of the reasons it stands out from some of the other software that does the same thing, so I can get almost the same thing with like CleanFeed, um, the difference is that we can actually see each other. And I really like the ability to see the co you know, the person I'm recording with, just so that you can you know, if they start nodding to something, you know, you're saying something that they like, or maybe you can see they're getting a little distracted. So it's just nice to have that additional connection. The great thing about Squadcast, in addition to recording each person's audio separately and recording that high quality audio, is that they actually record a backup of your audio file. This is something that's very unique to Squadcast and can really be a lifesaver. I've heard from several podcasters that at the end of the recording, either you know something happens with the internet connection and, and they aren't able to really get the full audio recording file or it gets corrupted somehow or it's missing, Squadcast automatically records backup files for all of your interviews. And so if you find yourself in a pinch and you can't get access to that initial audio recording, you simply email the support team and they can go through and get that audio for you. So if you've ever been in an audio recording situation long distance where you like end the interview and then something happens, like some freak accident, and you lose the interview, Squadcast has a built-in backup plan to help save your interview. So now let's dive into a few of the limitations or the reasons you may pick something besides Squadcast. First limitation, I don't think is too big of a limitation, but some people, this is something important to them. You can only record four people on a podcast uh, with Squadcast. Travis, why is that not a big deal? Well, once you start getting beyond four people recording simultaneously, it can be difficult to understand what's going on, especially if you have people talking over each other. And so if you're at the point where you're beyond four people, consider paring down the number of people recording at any one given point in time. But if you really do need more than four people, you can use a solution like Zoom, which allows you to record up to 100 people. So, you know, record as many people as you want. Just know that's probably going to negatively impact your podcast. <laughs> yeah, if you want full chaos, Zoom has the 100 person plan where all of you can record at the exact same time. Actual cons for Squadcast. Right now, there's no ability to record the video. I know it's something that they've been working on for a while, um, but it's still not available at the time of this recording. We are recording something because you see something on the screen right now. That is Travis setting up some other software to record his screen, just to help you see what it looks like to record something inside a Squadcast. The last limitation, again, is another technical one. Uh, if you want to record on your phone, you can't be using an iPhone. You need to be uh, using an Android. Again, I don't think this is a huge letdown because if you're using Squadcast, it's because you're trying to get the last bit of this really high quality audio recording. But that means that you're probably in somewhat of a studio environment. You're probably using a high quality mic. You're unlikely to have plugged all that into your phone for that recording. So if you're having someone like call in for a podcast, you probably should just be using the call in feature on something like Zoom. Prices on Squadcast range from $10 to $45 a month. 
Um, they will give you a bit of a discount if you prepay for a year. But with all this software, I recommend take it one month at a time in the beginning and then upgrade once you know that you are going to use this for the long haul. Most people, though, I don't think are going to end up on that $10 plan. You're going to need a bit more time. So the $10 only gets you two hours of recording. So you're probably going to want to upgrade to the $20 plan so you get a full five hours. It's a little bit more expensive, like you said, than a free option like Zoom. But the right price for the people it's targeting, which is anyone trying to get the last bit of audio quality possible. All right, so there you have it. If you want to learn more about Squadcast, Travis, what should people do? They should go and watch our full step-by-step -step walkthrough tutorial that we have on our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video, just go to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel, type in Squadcast, and you will see this tutorial. I'll also link it in the YouTube card, which is going to be over here or in the video description below. If you have any questions about Squadcast, drop them in the comments below, and I will send this video over to the Squadcast guys. Hopefully they can jump in and help answer any questions you come across. Until next time, keep up the great work, keep podcasting, and we'll see you then.